Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here at the Tripods. And uh, first off, uh, I just want to apologize if I'm talking weird, if I'm talking funny or whatever. I do have uh, swollen tonsils and whatnot. Um, but hopefully that problem will get fixed sooner or later. But I just want to give you guys a quick recap, a quick rundown of WWDC 2012 that just happened today. Uh, I'm not going to go too into it like I did in past videos because you guys don't really like that too much that I've seen. Uh, so I'm just going to... Uh, shortly go through what happened today and some of the major things and I'll do another in-depth video on something that I liked more uh, which I'll mention uh, on into the rest of this video. Okay so Apple started off with their usual lovey-dovey videos and how we change the world and stuff like that uh, and then they moved right into some of the products. Uh, the first products that were to be updated <laughs> were the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. Now they both got an Ivy Bridge processor in USB 3.0 what that basically means is they're going to run faster, they're going to run about 60 times faster than the previous models, uh, and you can have your uh, ports connect much faster, you can transfer information much faster. It's pretty much with these new models, the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro, it's pretty much just that they are a lot faster. Nothing really changed to the MacBook Air size, it is still the same, so don't worry about that too much. Uh, but the MacBook Pro did get a slimmed down profile. Uh, it is almost as thin as the MacBook Air, not as thin, but it is much thinner than the previous uh, MacBook Pro before it. If you guys are interested in this new MacBook Air, you can pick up the 11-inch model for $999, and you can also get the 13-inch model for $1199. That's $1,199, not $11.99. Just clear some stuff up. The new MacBook Pro 13-inch will be going for $1,199, and the 15-inch version will be going for $1,799, so $1,799. And for the 7... Oh, that's right. They axed the 17-inch model of the MacBook Pro this year, so there is no longer a 17-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, if you really want, go ahead and tape your iPad to your MacBook Pro, and you can probably make your screen a little bit bigger that way. Now you guys are saying, oh, great, they just made some faster computers for us. They do that every year. What's the big deal with this? Well, they went and hit us with a brand new next generation MacBook Pro. So now there's a new MacBook Pro and a new MacBook Pro. Confuse me too. The new MacBook Pro, what the difference is with the new MacBook Pro is that it has a retina display now. The new MacBook Pro is just like the new iPad. It now has a retina display. That retina display kicks out 220 pixels per inch PPI. So, uh, I pretty much, pretty sure it said I, not I. That's a resolution of 2880 by 1800. It's a lot of pixels. Now, this bad boy can get up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and up to 768 uh, gigabytes in SSD. So, you can get a lot more memory in this. Uh, that's almost a terabyte of memory in your computer, which is crazy. Uh, so, it's going to be running, like I said, much faster than the previous version, 60% faster. It's going to be running much faster. Uh, and you're going to be able to store a lot more things uh, for reviewers and people out there. It'll be great for you, photographers, videographers, people that want to see uh, their image quality on the computer, how it should be. You can check that out. Uh, it'll be perfect for you, and you can store all your pictures and all your videos with all that memory. Yes, you'll probably still need an external hard drive, but nonetheless, you'll get a lot more memory. Now, a little problem you may have here is that you're shooting your pictures, and you look at them on your computer like, wow, they look awesome with this retina display. I edited these, these edited, edited edited these so good they look awesome and you go ahead and send them off to your best friend and they're sitting there on their pc windows millennium version and they're like these are just normal pictures now you guys are wondering how much is this going to go for the ipad has a retina display and its price wasn't too bad is this are they going to kick us with this price are they going to hurt us with this one there's going to be upwards of four thousand dollars for this retina display the answer is actually no it's the price is not too bad they sell a 15 inch version a 15 inch model of this new macbook pro with retina display for $2,199. Now, if you want, you can go in and you can max out everything that you could possibly get through Apple on uh, to your new Retina Display MacBook Pro, and you could get that for $3,750. So, yes, it is going a little bit towards $4,000, but if you look at the prices of the old MacBook Pros, um, the bigger size MacBook Pros as well, that price was upwards of $4,000 as well. But with this, you get a Retina Display. Now, let's talk a little bit about Mountain Lion. Uh, you can now have dictation with Mountain Lion, so you can go to talk to me like, Open Safari, Safari Open, Open po Progress, uh, and it'll open up the little bit of applications or things for you just right there on your computer. Um, pretty cool, nothing too major. Uh, you don't want to be talking to yourself even more now, now that you're talking to Siri all the time. You don't want to be talking to your computer all the time. But hey, some of us out there just need a friend.
They also included PowerNap as well as some other things. PowerNap is pretty cool. You close up your MacBook and it'll go ahead and start storing your information. It'll back up everything and it'll just make sure you keep everything. It doesn't take up too much battery life. It keeps it nice and down. It doesn't turn up your fans so you don't really have to hear it when you don't want to hear it. Uh, it's just a cool little thing to add in. There are, there are some other features such as the notifications, how they made those work really well. And so you can just talk and you can tweet uh, and you can get your notifications while you're in full screen or not. Really cool. Uh, and Mountain Lion, we all know, was going for around $30. But they went ahead and they chopped that price down to $19.99, so pretty much $20 now for OS X Mountain Lion. Now, a big thing that I liked was iOS 6. iOS 6 will be coming in the fall to our iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touch 4th generations. Uh, they excluded the iPad 1, so upgrade. Uh, and it goes from the iPhone 3GS and up and the iPod Touch 4th generation. Siri was updated with iOS 6. Uh, it's now extremely good with sports. You can ask uh, what's David Wright's batting average? It'll give you that. It'll give you all the stats. It'll ask you when's the next game the uh, Dodgers are playing and where and who are they playing. It'll give you all that information as well. It'll come up on a neat little card. Uh, it actually looks really cool. They also partnered with Yelp so you can get better restaurant recommendations, make your reservations right inside of Siri. They also partnered with Rotten Tomatoes so you can go and check out your movies, you can check out reviews of the movies, you can see how it's doing, and you can watch previews of movies right inside of Siri. They also enhanced local search so you can find things around you much easier. They went ahead and also talked about car dictation. Well, that is going to be their whole eyes-free thing, technology, that they're going to be including in some cars. They have it in some higher-end cars such as Jaguar, BMW, I believe, uh, and some other lower-end car companies as well. They're going to be... Uh, working with Apple and integrating an actual button into the steering wheel so you can press it and work with your iPhone so you are eyes free of your iPhone. They also had a do not disturb little type of thing uh, where if you're in a meeting and you don't want your phone to go off at all for anything, send that mode on. Somebody really needs to get through if it's really an emergency and they call more than once, if they call twice or more than that, they will send them through. Which, I mean, if someone doesn't answer, you're probably going to call them again, so that's... They also added a lot with Facebook integration, so you can share your photos much easier. Uh, you can just let everyone know what you're doing much easier now with the new Facebook integration. It's just something that was coming. We all knew it was coming. Facebook is going to be probably taking over the world, partnering with Google or something like that, and Apple's going to help them out. But, I mean, it's just cool something. It's not like they're threatening me to say that it's a great, it's, it's a great app or anything like that. Now, as we all know, FaceTime only works over Wi-Fi when you have your iPhone or your iPad. Well, now with iOS 6, you can use it over cellular connection. So that's your 3G connection that you have right now, possibly 4G in the future. But whatever connection you have right now with your iPhone that is a cellular network, you will be able to use FaceTime over that, which, I mean, we all knew had to come as well. That's just something that should have happened instead of just Wi-Fi in the beginning. Um, but this is just something that's going to be really cool now that you can actually use FaceTime out and about and not only where you'll have Wi-Fi. So you can actually share that cool moment when you're not home. They also made this new thing called Passbooks where it has your movie tickets, your plane tickets, your coupons, and your gift cards all in one little application. And you can have them scan right on your phone. You can go through them. You can shred them when you're done. It's a cool little shredding view. A uh, little thing that happens that they integrated where it just shreds your uh, tickets and your receipts when you're done with them inside the application. You can take your thing to Starbucks. Not your thing. You can take out your iPhone to Starbucks, have them scan the code right there. Really cool. Uh, all built into this one little app, kind of moving towards the virtual wallet feel that we all knew was going to happen. It happened with Google a little while back that didn't really end up so well for them. So let's see if Apple gets better luck. And Maps was probably one of the biggest things they did uh, and updated. Now it has turn-by-turn -turn navigation, finally! So we have turn-by-turn -turn navigation now. We have cool 3D mapping. They partnered with TomTom. Tom. Uh, a lot of their stuff is coming from TomTom. Tom. Uh, you will get the voice guided navigation and you could really zoom and pinch and zoom out in, in this application and really see the 3D buildings and change your camera view, you can change the level. It looks really, really neat uh, how they demonstrated this during the live keynote. Now there's a lot of things I'm missing, but I just want to get you guys out to the main subjects that happened. They uh, secretly added a new iPad smart cover case. They secretly added the new Mac Pro, which just is a little bit faster, and they secretly added airport i believe they did something with airport just a lot of little secret things they updated on their website when it went down but that's just main things that happened today at wwdc if you have any questions or comments leave them down in a video response <clears throat> or a text comment down below i'm gonna go rest my voice um and yeah more videos coming out to you soon i'll do a video on ios i have a couple reviews coming out to you guys soon i'm not gone so don't worry um just going through a lot uh, um but yeah i will catch you guys in the next one peace Oh, please.